Hello, everyone. Sorry, I know it's seven right now. I went fast today. Real fast. I'm going to prop you all up. There we go. It's down. How is everyone? I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a great Easter. Let's start today on the mat and start to work on our breathing. So just sit any way that you're comfortable. Again, as usual, you can prop those hips up with a blanket. You can sit with your legs crossed. You can sit with them straight out, really up to you. Let's start to get into the breath. If it feels better for you to lay back, definitely lay back on your mat. Let's start to take deep breaths here. So inhale. As you inhale, allow your belly to expand. Exhale, and we're pulling in. Inhale. Make sure those breaths are audible. And at the same time, you are relaxing the muscles in your face. Relaxing the muscles in your jaw. Relaxing the muscles in your shoulders and your neck. Draw the shoulders down your back and allow them to melt. So taking those nice controlled breaths and they're coming more easily now. Good. Now, maybe with the breath, let's add a chin tuck. The chin comes down on the exhale. I'm going to lift up on the inhale. We're dropping down on the exhale. Lifting on the inhale. But now let's start to move around, tuck the chin to the chest, drop the chin down, really stretching through the back of the neck. Shoulders are still relaxed and let's start to make a big circle. So we're gonna look over to one side, the shoulders stay down, making that big circle around. I'm trying to ignore my dog barking. I'm so sorry about that. I really do apologize. And look forward, readjust, shake the shoulders, tuck the chin and drop the chin. And we're making that circle in the opposite direction. Shoulders stay down. This is a very slow movement. No jerking, especially because we're working with your neck here. And those muscles are very delicate. Let's take your shoulders up to your ears. Nice, small circles here. And we're placing your left hand on your right ear, allowing that left ear to come down to the shoulder. And let's tuck the right hand behind the back. And for a deeper stretch here, you can even sit on that right hand. So we're just allowing the weight of your hand to stretch through the side of the neck into the traps. You don't want to pull at all. It's just the weight of the hand. And we're rotating our nose now down toward our shoulder. And we're holding here. Good. 
Good. We're going to rotate looking up at the ceiling now. Keeping that left shoulder down, right shoulder down. Releasing all of the tension in the neck muscles. Let's release and shake it out. We'll take the same movement on the opposite sides. So we'll take it over. Just a little pressure here from the right hand. And if you need more, hand goes behind your back or tucks under your hips. Good, yeah. Still breathing through the stretch. We're slowly rotating now. Your nose comes down to the shoulder. Good. And the nose follows to the ceiling. And let's release. Taking a nice inhale here. We're tucking our hands behind our head. Let's sit up nice and tall. Press the hands into the head, the head into the hands. So we're stretching through the chest and we're trying, <clears throat> even though it may not happen, we're trying to get the elbows together behind your head. So just relax the shoulders and press the elbows back a little more. Now the head is pressing into the hands, but your head is not jutting forward. Let's take that stretch through the side body. So we're dropping over to the left, stretching through the right side body, dropping over to the right, stretching the left side. Good, you can get that elbow as close to the floor as your body allows without pain. Good. Now, very gently, we're interlacing the fingers behind the head. We're going to bring the elbows together, tucking the chin down. And again, it's just the weight of your hands pulling your chin to your chest. But the shoulders are still melted down the back. Good. Release. Now, hands and fists. We're going to take the fists right under your chin. You're not hurting yourself or punching yourself, but the shoulders relax. We're going to gently push the head up, stretching through the anterior scalene muscles, which are in the front of the neck. Very, very good. For now, let's round through the back, bringing the chin in and the back of the hands together. Inhale, open the hands, lift the head to the ceiling. Exhale. We're rounding, inhale, we're arching, exhale, inhale. This is a great movement to do if you're sitting at a desk for hours and you need to get up and make that blood flow. All right, let's release and come to hands and knees. So our hands will stack right under our shoulders. Our knees are right under the hips. You can rock. We're trying to find that strong neutral spine here. So to start working on your abdominal muscles, we're going to create a vacuum in your stomach. So keeping that neutral spine, fingers spread. We're going to stay in one position. You're going to pull your belly button to your spine. Really squeeze it in and hold. There. Good. Now, as you hold, I want you to start to round through your spine. We're keeping that belly button back toward the spine, dropping the chin to your chest. All right, we're releasing everything. So nice long back. Good. Again, pull the belly button to the spine. And let's start to round chin to chest. Good. 
Long spine. Good. Let's rock. And our elbows will come down right under the shoulders. You can take and interlace the fingers, relax the head. Again, we're squeezing the belly tight. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now round. So you're pushing through the elbows this time. Your chin is tucking into your chest. Good, relax. We're doing that one more time. Create that vacuum. Pull that belly button in. Squeeze. And round, round, round. Bring that tailbone in slightly, chin to chest. Release, I'm rocking again, back and forth. Good. Starting to crawl the hands out in front. You can add your block to this movement, put it under your forehead or your chin. The palms will face in and we're lowering either our forehead or our chin to the mat. Our hips are up. Just breathing in that position. Now we're going to shoot forward. We're laying our belly down on the mat and doing a few cobras here. So hands right under the shoulders. We're inhaling and lowering down as we exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping that tailbone neutral. So we're pressing your pelvis down. Inhale. Exhale, and one more time. Inhale. Exhale. I want you to settle back in child's pose. Toes touch, knees out. Settle those hips back to the heels. Start to breathe. If it's too much of a stretch, tuck that blanket right in between the legs. Sit back on the blanket. If it's too low for your head, just Gently place the block under the forehead. The deep breaths here. All right, let's come up to your tabletop position. So we're gonna work on our hips today, which is very exciting. Hips are one of my favorite days anyway. Let's separate the fingers, making sure you have that solid base. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're gonna take the right knee and make a circle with it. So it's coming up, circling around and down. Circle around and down. So not only are we warming up your hip, but we're working your core here. So what I want you to do is focus on that stability, focus on staying where you are, your body is not moving all over the place. It's just the right leg. All right, we're going in the opposite direction now. So point the foot and bring it around. Good, bring it around. So the opposite hip of the knee that's staying on the mat is staying right behind the shoulder. You don't want the hip to stick out on either side. I know I've shown you this before, but it's always good to review. So when you're making that circle, see how my hips out like that? You don't want it like that. You want to try to stay in this position as you bring that knee around. All right, we're going for the other side. Let's try it there. So create that vacuum. Pull your belly button into your spine. Create that solid base. We'll take that knee around. Good. Lengthen the spine. We're breathing. We're always breathing. Yeah, you got it. All right, we're going in the opposite direction. I hope you all worked on your planks this week. Uh, weeks go fast. Just try to work on them every day. All right, wonderful job. So, beast pose. We are working our way toward a little bit of animal flow for our yoga practice today. So hands will be under your shoulders. We're rolling the toes under. Now we're gonna take the elbows to the front of the knees. 
This is where your hands will place. So your hands should be right out in front of your elbows. You're gonna lift from there. So your knees are in front of your navel just a little bit. They're not right under your hips for this movement. You're gonna tuck the toes under. All I want you to do right now is settle back to those heels. We're settling back and moving forward. Yep, right here, back and forth, long spine. We're working through the wrists. You should feel that stretch there. You should also feel the stretch through the connective tissue in the front of the knees. I also feel it in my ankles for sure. Now my toes are rolled under. And now I want you to press the tops of your feet on the mat. Maybe sit back a little more there and forward. Good. A little more and forward. Now, as you come forward, maybe come past the wrists a little with the shoulders. Just a little, no pain. That's very important. All right, let's tuck the toes back under, leaving the hands right where they are. So we're tucking. We're going to hold that vacuum. So let's pull the belly button to your spine and lifting the knees off of the mat. This is a very hard movement. It doesn't look like it if you would see someone do it, but it's, it's core, it is strength, it's definitely mobility. So we're gonna lift the knees up. I don't want you to focus on how high my hips are compared to yours, just lift up in the air. So we're gonna work your quads here. Ready? Squeeze your belly button to your spine, create that vacuum and lift up. Good, lower back down, awesome. Release, maybe shake it out. And again, let's lift up, so lift those knees. And back down, wonderful. Lift again, squeeze that vacuum. Good, hold this time a little longer, spine, strong. And we're back down, all right, nice. Settling back to child's pose. So let's settle back. Little stretch, we're still breathing. That was wonderful. Good, and let's come back up for our beast position. So elbows right in front of the knees. They're touching the knees. Separate the fingers. We're going to lift up from there. Now we're going to flip the right hand over, spreading the fingers and stretching in the opposite direction. And let's place the right hand down. Do the same on the left. Pressing down, stretching through the wrists. Good job. Let's add downward dog from there. So create the vacuum, squeeze in, just building in our practice today. Roll the toes under. We're gonna lift up in beast. So long spine, lift and come up to your downward dog. Pressing the heels into the mat, we're pedaling. This may not be exactly where you take your downward dog, but for today, do me a little different. And let's come back down, we're hovering. Long spine and lower. Good, let's try that two more times. <sighs> Create that vacuum, squeeze in. And we're coming up, hover, 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 hover. Lift, lift those hips and press the heels down, pedal the heels. Start to lower the knees. Good, lengthen. Awesome, knees come down. How are you feeling out there? Maybe beat those toes into the mat. <laughs> it's always my little toesies there. All right, if you need to readjust, readjust. Maybe place those elbows right in front of the knees again. Remember the knees are a little in front of the navel. Tuck the toes under, lift up. And all the way up into your downward dog. Let's pedal the heels. Now, if you're not comfortable here, get in your dog that is comfortable. You can move the feet back. Good. Now let's lift the heels up nice and high. 
and drop slowly. Lift up, separate the toes, and drop. Let's lift those heels. We're going to keep that position, lifting the hips up a little higher. We're going to start to bend the knees down toward the mat and lift back up. Good. Keep that belly tight. Now inhale, exhale here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale. Good. Exhale. And inhale. Wonderful. Drop back down. From there, we're readjusting. Elbows to knees, palms in front, fingers are spread. So beast pose definitely works on a lot of things. Your quads are fired, your core is fired, your upper body is so fired. We're gonna add on from there. So we're gonna take beast pose, lifting up. Keeping the right foot and left hand on the mat. We're gonna twist slowly, lifting the right arm and kicking one leg out. Now, if you get here and you wanna sit on the mat, definitely take a seat on the mat. Upper arm, we're gonna pull back next to your cheek, opening your chest. So we're opening the sling here, opening your chest. Now, if you can, you're not there, Lift that leg off the ground. You want it nice and close. Now the foot here, we're gonna try our hardest to keep it parallel. So parallel to your mat. Let's try it again. So we'll get back in that position. Start. And believe me, it's gonna flow. It will flow, I promise. <laughs> Lift up and beast. And kick that foot out. Good. Now the way to really notice if this back foot is parallel, you can look at it before you kick the leg out. So we're looking at it, stopping the motion, and kicking out, opening that sling, opening that chest. We're taking a big inhale here. Let's go back to two, your beast pose. We go to the other side, let's kick out. Open that sling, good. And we're back. Wonderful job. Let's settle back to child's pose. But now at any time, if you feel like your wrists are getting really tired, which they will at first, just press the tops of your hands together. That's your relief position. Sit back up. So elbows to knees, tuck the toes. We're lifting the knees up in the air. Long, strong spine and vacuum. So squeeze your belly button to your spine. Lift up here. We're doing a left side kick through. With the foot to stop, kick, open the sling. You got it. Pull it back in and the other side. And bring it back in. Good. Up in downward dog. Let's pedal. Pedal from downward dog. We're taking the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Take it here. Give me a little pulse here. Good. We're going to get that back leg down toward the mat. Reaching the right arm toward the ceiling. Good. Lengthen that back leg. Hand comes back down. We are in downward dog. Take the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Give me a little pulse here. You can definitely use your chair here. If this is too low for you, you can use your blocks. Whatever feels good. And let's drop that leg. Getting a little more through this front hip flexor here. Lift the chest up. Sing back up into your downward dog. Right, let's add those pieces on. So front step through, side kick throughs, and beast pose. 
elbows to the knees, separate the fingers, toes tuck under, create the vacuum, let's lift up, cover the knees, left side kick through, good, back to beast, and right side kick through, back to beast, set up, downward dog, right foot forward, so we're going to take it to the outside of the right hand, we're going to bring the right hand off of the mat, up. Very good. Right hand comes back down. Downward dog. Left side. Front step. Bring that left arm up now. Good. How are you doing? Hand comes down. Back in downward dog. Rock. Wonderful job. Let's step through. So the right foot and the left foot meets the right. Hinge from your hips, we're lifting up. Ah, uh, it feels good to be standing. Hands in prayer, bring it down. Deep breaths here. And let's inhale. Exhale, fold forward, inhale. Now the left foot will go back, the right foot in your downward dog. Good, maybe pedal the heels. We're gonna crawl them forward so you can drop into your beast. Left leg side kick through, look at that foot. Make it as parallel as you can. Open that sling, squeeze the belly, beast pose. And then the other side, kick. Open that sling, point those toes, pull in, downward dog. Maybe move the feet back slightly, take the right foot to the outside of the right hand, lift that right hand up, place the right hand down, right leg back, left foot to the outside of the left hand, bring that hand up. Hand comes back down, downward dog. Let's step through or jump through. Right foot meets the left, hinge from the hips. Up and exhale. We're going to fly forward. How are y'all feeling out there? I hope you're feeling good. Hope you like the flow that we chose today. Let's maybe rock side to side. You can grab opposite elbows. Just allow your head to relax. <sighs> Wonderful. Hands come down and let's take our toes now and step on the palms of our hands. So it's just helping us to stretch a little more. Good, try to straighten the legs out a little more. Relax the head, gently shake it so you can remind those muscles to relax. It's the hardest part. Let's release. Hinge from those hips and left. <sighs> Hands in prayer and they settle right at your heart. <sighs> Wonderful job. And let's inhale. Exhale, forward fold. The right foot is back this time, the left foot is back, downward dog. And let's crawl the feet forward and lower in our beast. Left side, kick through, kick, got it. Pull back in, left side, kick through. You got it. I don't, <laughs> pull back in, good to your downward dog, whatever feels good to you. We're gonna take a right step through. So the right foot is stepping forward. The right hand is coming up. Excellent. Right hand down, the foot comes back. Left side step. Take it here. Good. And we're back in downward dog. Now this time we're taking your right knee through the hands. So pigeon. 
We're gonna drop the back leg and lengthen it back. So you can crawl it back a little more. Lift the chest here. Now, if you can't get down this low, as flat as your mat is, definitely grab a blanket. You can put it right under your hips here to prop you up a little. Good. You can also have your hands on blocks. Let's start to crawl forward if you need more of a stretch. You can straighten the arms out in front. and allow your chest to drop down. Good. How are you doing out there? Oh, let's grow back. <sighs> Lifting up and taking the right leg back. Let's take the left knee through. Good, crawl this side back. This is always the harder side for me. Maybe it's easier for you. Lift the chest. If you need more, you can crawl down to your mat and get a little more out of this deep hip stretch. And crawl the hands out in front. Just breathe here. Good, now let's walk the hands back. Place both feet together in our butterfly stretch. So the toes press in, the soles of our feet press together, knees fall to the side and we lengthen through our spine. So as I grab my ankles, I really use them to pull the shoulders back and down to melt them down my back to lengthen the spine all the way to the crown of my head. Now, if you need a little more in that stretch, you can release a hand, press down right before the knee, and then maybe do it on the other side. Very good. And let's separate the legs. We're gonna take a straddle. Straddle might be a little closer together, that's okay. But you want to straddle where you are not rounding through your lower back here. You want to sit tall and be able to keep those toes up to the ceiling. We inhale, exhale, reach for the left side. Good, reach up and reach for the right side. Mm, that feels good. Let's reach up, exhale here. We're gonna inhale again. Exhale, reaching forward, so toward both feet. Good. I worked on this for a year. I could finally get this far, even though it isn't as far as a lot of people can get. I couldn't even get this far when I was younger. Everybody else had their chest on the floor, but I never did. All right, let's walk back. Good job. All right, bring those feet together. We're gonna flex the feet, sitting tall and inhaling here. Now, instead of reaching forward on the exhale, I want you to pull the feet up and bring the knees into the chest. The toes are gonna tap down to the mat and lift, keeping your belly tight. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, straighten all the way out, sit up tall and inhale. Now we're reaching forward. Good, let's crawl back. Get back into our position, our downward dog. And let's start from our beast pose. 
So working on that flow again, elbows to the knees, spreading the fingers, lifting up, toes tuck under and let's lift, just hover in beast, left side kick through, open the sling, pull back, good. And in beast, right side kick through, and back to beast. Downward dog, you can crawl the feet back. We're gonna take the right foot and step it to the outside of the right hand, lifting the right hand. Right hand comes down, back to our dog, left foot forward, lift the hand, back to downward dog. And now we're gonna lift, and we're gonna lift the right leg up in the air. Ooh, don't kick a shelf. You have one in your basement like I do. <laughs> Drop the heel down toward your hip. Good. Now this might be a challenge. If you'd like to hold downward dog, please do so. We're gonna take the knee through the hands. Good. Hold here, lift the chest. You should just feel that hip. Really release here. Let's lift back up and take the leg back up into that position. Good, slight bend in that bottom knee. We're gonna drop the foot down, pedal here and take the left leg up, straight up in the air, rotate out, drop the heel to the hip. Good, you're opening up and pulling that knee through and lifting the head up. Wonderful job. Come on, let's take the left leg all the way back up. In that scorpion reach position, keep it here. Bring it back down into downward dog. Step through, hinge from the hips and left and out. Hands come down. Good, deep breaths here. Let's add one more piece to our flow today. Let's inhale, exhale, hinge from your hips. Taking both feet back, we're gonna drop them down. Set our perfect beast pose, lift the knees, hover, left side kick through, we're kicking, opening up, good, beast pose, right side kick through, kick, and release. Ooh, lift up in downward dog. You can crawl the, the feet back if you'd like. Right foot steps through to the outside of the right hand. Lift the right hand up, keeping that left hand under the shoulder. Back to downward dog. Left foot step through. Hand comes down, downward dog. Lifting the right leg up in the sky. You're gonna bring that heel to the hip. Slight bend in that left knee. Now to add on to this, we're gonna take that right knee that's up in the air to the opposite wrist. Take it over and bring it through. Stretch through that hip in pigeon pose. Wonderful job. Let's release here. Bring that leg back up and over. Oh yeah, wonderful job. And of course we have to do it on the other side. So let's bring that leg up, rotate, open the hip. The heel comes down toward the hip. Then we're gonna bring that knee around to the opposite elbow and drop the knee right in between the hands. Yeah. Good, let's release, bringing that foot all the way around. Good, let's bring it down. 
Step through. Hinge and lift. Beautiful job. Let's take a few deep breaths here. And we're inhaling. We're tucking the hands behind the head. Let's separate the feet. We're gonna hinge from your hips. So keeping that spine long, we're keeping that vacuum so your belly's tight. Your spine is long here, but you're pushing the hips back. Good, and let's drop down in your fold. Relax everything. And let's lift up. Inhaling here. Exhale. We're going to try an eagle pose today. So I'm going to face you, and you can do it facing me, or you can do it at the edge of your mat. We're going to take your left arm under your right, press the palms together. So this is a nice stretch through your upper back. You should definitely feel that. Now we're going to do the same with the legs. We're curling. We're going to curl one leg around the other. And as usual in our balancing poses, you are trying to find one point to look at while you hold this position. Now, if this is not a position that you are feeling safe in, take this other foot, just cross it over and tap it down. Try it here. Now in this pose, we're trying to sit back. Do you feel that upper back start to stretch? Good, start to release. And let's lower and shake it out. And let's do it on the other side and Eagle for me definitely needs a lot more practice, but that's what yoga is. It's a lot of practicing. So now the left arm is on top of the right and we're gonna cross the other leg. Now we're trying to wrap this other foot behind the ankle or the shin, the top foot. You can do it, go for it. Let's settle back here. So look at one point. On stationary point, start to sit back in your chair. Remember those toes can touch the ground like mine are. I'm definitely cheating, but it's still hard to hold the balance. Good, let's release. Wonderful. Take an inhale, and if you're not there, step to the front of your mat, exhale, we're dropping down. We're gonna take the right foot and the left foot back, toes touch, we're dropping the knees to the outside of the mat, and let's settle in your child's pose. Just breathe. Clearing your mind of everything that you need to do later or that you've already done today. Just keep your thoughts on your mat. Some crampage in my toes. Let's release. Now we're going to come up to a seated position again. If you need your blanket, please grab it. Oh, toesies are cramping up. You can sit how you're comfortable. We're going to go back to the arms in the eagle pose to stretch through your upper back a little. So let's take one arm underneath the other, pressing the palms together. We're gonna slightly move the elbows. So we're moving them up and down. You should feel 
a lot of activation in your upper back here. So breathing, inhale as you press up, exhale as you lower. Good, let's release and try it with the opposite hands and arms, just allowing the arms to come up and down. Good, let's release and drop forward, reaching for the toes. Wonderful job. Let's take a roll back onto your mat. Control it as much as you can. Full body stretch, arms overhead, pointing the toes. Your body should feel nice and relaxed and ready for bed. Pulling your knees into your chest and let's massage the lower back before we go tonight. And give me some circles here. And some circles in the opposite direction. Wonderful. We're dropping the feet down, allowing the hands to fall away from the body with the palms up and the toes separate. Just relax on your mat. And if your time allows, just allow yourself to stay on your mat, relax. And if not, let's wiggle our fingers, wiggle our toes, roll on your right side. And let's press slowly to a seated position. And it's the heart. I hope you all enjoyed this practice as much as I did this evening. Let's end with a deep cleansing breath. Namaste. Wonderful job, everyone. I hope you have an excellent evening and I'll see you next Tuesday, which will be our last of the six weeks. I am back in school. I'm going for my nursing degree. So, um, Anna had talked to me about doing yoga for another six weeks on Tuesday evenings after we're finished next week. My class will actually be one of them on Tuesday evenings um, from 5 to 10.30. So I mentioned to her that I could definitely do a Thursday evening if you were interested in Thursday at seven, I could definitely do that. Um, also, another idea would be a Tuesday afternoon or Thursday afternoon. So um, just let Anna know what you think. And um, I would love to join you again for another six weeks. But if it's on Tuesday, it will probably only be, I believe, three weeks in a row. All right. Thank you all so much. And I 
look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Have a good night. Thanks, Dawn. <laughs> okay, Susan, I'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Thank you, Barb. Wonderful job, everybody. Even though I can't see you, I know you're doing an excellent job. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.